everyone, it's Marley here with Picmonic, and I'm also a yoga instructor. And today we are going to do a quick 10 minute study session break by doing a nice little yoga flow so that you can mix up the energy and feel really good about loosening your muscles so that you can get back to studying and be productive. Okay, so this is going to be a really easy yoga flow that you can do in your bedroom, in the kitchen, wherever you can find enough space. It's ideal if you have a yoga mat, um, but again, you can just do it on the floor if you need to. And that's it, let's get started. So what I like to do before I take a study break is I know I'm gonna be needing about 10 minutes for this flow, so I take my timer on my phone, set it for 10 minutes, and then I'll press start, and then we know that right after that we can get back to studying. So I'm gonna do that right now, 10 minutes on the clock, and start. So we're gonna start lying on our mat. Bring your knees into your chest and just hug them close. Maybe rock side to side just to massage the spine. Then you're gonna take your left leg, extend it long, flat on the mat, and then bring your right knee close to your body. Then extend the leg up to the ceiling and grab behind the legs on the calf, the calf or the hamstring and gently pull the leg close to your nose. This is gonna stretch out your hamstrings and really make sure that your shoulders stay on the mat. And take some circles with your ankle. This is good because while we're studying, our legs are gonna start getting stiff a lot of the time. So this is a nice stretch just to keep the legs warm. Then re-bend the knee, taking your left hand, just guide the knee over your body. So you're in a nice twist push the left thigh, sorry, the right thigh down with your left hand, extend the right hand long, and then just look over to the right. So this is a nice twist, just to get everything warmed up. And then inhale, bring both knees back to the center, hug them close, give yourself a little hug as you're rocking side to side and then switch out the legs. So extend the right leg long on the mat, bring the left knee close to the chest. Again, just really gently pulling it close to the chest, but keep your shoulders on the mat. Then extend the leg up to the sky, grab behind the leg, so the calf and the hamstring. Same thing on this side, just do some circles with the left foot. And then bend the knee using the right hand, guide the leg over your body, extend the left arm out to the side, keep the shoulders on the mat, and just look over to the left as you're breathing, really nice inhale, slow and deep, and exhale. So the breathing is out the nose and the inhales, inhales and exhales are both out the nose, keeping the mouth closed. Both knees back to chest. And then just rock up to a seated position. I'll face you. So in the seated position, we're gonna take our feet, make them cross-legged. Take your hands on your knees and just roll the shoulders back at tall with the spine. And do one round of neck circles. So go one way, one direction, nice and slow. And then the other direction. Our neck will get pretty stiff in, the, in these really long study sessions, I know, because you're staring at the computer. So it's always good to do these neck rolls, same with the shoulder rolls, just to warm up the body. And the inhale, bring the arms overhead, get really tall with the spine, expand the ribs. And the exhale, just bring the arms back down by your sides. Inhale, deep through the nose. Exhale, release the hands by the side. One more time, inhale through the nose. And then on this exhale, just take the left hand down on the right knee and the right hand goes behind you, kind of like a second spine. So it's supporting you as you twist to the right. Inhale back center, arms up overhead. Exhale, left hand comes behind you like the second spine as your right hand comes onto the left knee, just twist over to the left. Keep your spine long, sit up nice and tall. And then we come back center, inhale. Exhale, hands down. So now we're gonna go into what's called cat and cow. We have five minutes left on the clock. So coming to all fours, 
your shoulders are coming over your wrists and your hips are right over your knees. So this is all fours, a tabletop position. On the inhale, we're bringing our chest forward, our tailbone up to the sky, eyes gaze up. On the exhale, we're pushing into the palms, rounding the back, belly button pulls into the spine, shoulder blades spread across the back. This is cat, just like a cat arching its back. Inhale, come to cow. Exhale, curl everything in and up, cat. Good. Next inhale, just back to a neutral spine. Then we're gonna tuck the toes under, push into the palms really, really hard. So your palms are suction cupped to the mat. And then we're just gonna lift the knees up about two inches. Hold here, pull the belly button in so the core is nice and strong. And then we're gonna push back to what's called down dog. I'm sure you've, a lot of you are very familiar with this position. Spread the fingers wide. So what we're gonna do is bend the knees a lot, get high, high, high on the toes, and then just shift your hips up. So tilt the hips up towards the ceiling, and then extend the legs long. Push the thigh, or push the chest towards the thigh. This is down dog. Breathe here. Maybe pedal out the feet to warm up the back of the legs. And then we're just gonna walk our hands to meet, meet our feet. So this is a forward fold position. And in this position, maybe you wanna bend your legs a lot so that your chest comes to your thighs. Grab opposite elbows and just drop the neck so you're completely letting everything go here. Everything is heavy, the neck is letting go. You're relaxing the body. Imagine just like everything is kind of deadly here. One more breath. And then we're gonna just drop the hands and roll up one vertebra at a time, head coming up last. So the limbs are really heavy, the head is really heavy, and then we're standing straight up. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, arms come overhead, little back bend by pushing your hips forward. Exhale, the hands come heart center, leading with the chest, you're coming all the way down, flat back. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, fold down. And inhale, we're crawling back out to a plank. And then we're gonna take the right foot and just bring it in between the thumbs. Shoulders roll back, chest is up. So this is a low runner's lunge. And then we're gonna place the back knee on the mat, untuck the toes, shift the hips back so that you're straightening the front leg. Flex the foot strong, and then just mount the chest over the right knee. And the inhale, we're re-bending the knee. Arms come up overhead, deepen the knee, stretch. And then hands come around the foot, step back, high plank, and then shift back, down dog, just like we had at the beginning. One breath here, inhale, exhale. Left foot comes in between the thumbs. We're going low runner's lunge. So chest is up, shoulders back. And then again, we're gonna place the right knee on the mat, untuck the toes, shift the hips back. So we're flexing the left foot strong. It's a straight leg. And then we're gonna melt the chest over the left knee. Good. A nice stretch for the legs. On the inhale, we're re-bending the left knee, arms come overhead, deep bend in the knee. And then hands frame the foot, step back, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Breathing here and looking at the time. time come back hands meet the feet inhale rise all the way up get really tall exhale hands from heart center dive down leading with the chest and then we're gonna walk back out to downward dog 
and then we're gonna bring the knees to the mat. We're gonna untuck the toes. Big toes are gonna touch, so we're gonna have to spread the knees a little wider than hip distance. Shift the hips back. Extend the arms long on the mat. And then just drop the forehead down. This is child's pose. So the chest is coming between the knees. The hips are really shifted back to try to meet the heels. And then just stretch out the arms. If you wanna make this more active, you can come on top of the fingertips. Whatever feels good to you. Breathing here. And then walk the hands to meet. Oh, there's our timer. Perfect. So walk the hands to meet the feet. Close the knees together. And that is a nice little 10 minute flow for your study session break. Feel free to do this every couple hours just to get your body moving, your body warm, and to make sure that you're feeling good as you're sitting for those long periods of uh, studying and getting productive. So until next time, good luck studying. Bye.